What's up guys? So uh it is another very hot and humid day here in Louisiana. Um but I hope the sun's shining where you are. I mean the sun's shining, but uh Yeah. Anyway, so um I know the channel's not big or anything right now, but I still kinda wanna get some feedback from you guys and uh be more involved with you guys I guess. So basically today I'm gonna do something that's called rice or nice. And uh, I'm gonna do something to the car and it's gonna be left up to you guys whether or not it stays like that. So basically in the comment section below. Just comment nice or rice, uh, depending on how you feel about it. And uh, yeah, so we'll get to what I'm doing in the car right now. Okay guys, so here we have uh, two tw uh, 20 millimeters and 25 millimeter spacers. Um, I used to run 20 millimeter in front and 25 millimeter in the rears with the stock Sport 37, uh, Ray 370Z wheels. But um, with my setup now with the Barstowans, with the ES2s, I mean, it's pretty flush, so I don't really need the spacers, but I kind of want to just, just for shits and giggles, you know, and just, you know, uh, to connect more with you guys, I want to throw them on there and see what you guys think and kind of see what I think also. But I'm not going to let you know how I feel about it, because uh, I don't want anyone's opinion to be swayed or anything like that. And there's a wasp right in front of the camera. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get these thrown in the car, and uh, yeah, we'll see what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in. All right, guys. So uh, right now I'm just breaking them off, breaking, <laughs> breaking them off. Yep. No, uh, breaking loose the lugs before I jack it out. I'm gonna show you guys the fitment too right now. My fitment's already kind of semi-aggressive, so like I think with the spacers it's gonna be pretty crazy. I honestly think that with the spacers, like I don't actually think I'd be able to drive it or anything, because I think it's gonna stick out past the fender, and so like when the suspension fluctuates, pretty sure it's gonna hit the fender. But uh, we'll see. I don't. Yeah, we'll see. So uh, I'm going to do the rear now, and uh, you guys will watch me do that too, or you'll fast forward. Either one. Do as you please. All right. So now we're about to break loose the rear, and then we'll get the car up in here. Just one side though, because I don't have a lift, sadly. I need a freaking NASCAR pit crew. All right, so that's all the look. So uh, now I'll get a jack and uh, get the car in the air. So I'll uh, catch you guys then. It still hits the side skirt a little bit whenever I lift it up, but uh, it'll be alright. Hopefully. That should be good. Alright guys, so basically uh that camera's what the fuck? Alright, so the uh, camera's about to fall just now, but um now I'm gonna take out the rest of these lugs and uh, get the wheel off so we can toss these spaces on and see how this shit looks. All right, guys. So uh, it seems like we just can't catch a break with this weather here in uh, Louisiana. It's currently raining right now. Um, but yeah. So now we're gonna toss the spacer on. This is a uh, 20 millimeter. So uh, just line it up. That is hard as hell to do looking through the camera. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So just line it up like that. 
and then um put the uh the little nuts I have for it. And then I think this is a 17. These little nuts, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Um but we'll find out soon. So yeah, I'm gonna skip to whenever I'm actually tightening them up because I mean I'm just putting these on one by one right now. Uh yeah, so I'll skip to when I'm actually tightening them up and uh catch you guys in. Guys, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up now. Um, I would suggest, highly suggest, actually torquing, uh, torquing them down. But uh, I'm not actually gonna be. I'm just doing this to one side of the car because I want to compare it to like you know uh, the the. <laughs> I want to compare it uh, as in I can't fucking talk. Okay. You know, uh, I just want to compare it to the side that's not, like, that's just, oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? I want to compare it to the side that doesn't, that, that, oh my god, what the fuck? Today, Junior? I just want to compare it to the side that's not running spacers versus the side that is running spacers. Just to see, really, so I'm not actually going to be using these on roads. I will tighten it up, you know, a good bit, but I'm not going to torque them or anything like that. Because, like I said, I'm just going to be taking this right off after. Uh, cause I don't want to. I'm, I'm not running this on the road. Okay, so basically, if you were, if I were to go to tighten this up right now, it's gonna spin this front rotor. So what I did is, uh, to get these little grooves in the rotor right here, and uh, I took a pair of needle nose, and you just stick it in those grooves right there. So whenever you turn this now, it'll allow you to tighten the nut because the the it, it won't spin because the Needle nose is just about uh, the caliper stopping it from allowing it to go uh, to make a full rotation. So uh, yeah, I just said uh, so many fucking times. Anyway, that's the current setup right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and get them tightened. So we're gonna continue tightening the knees up right now. Okay, so uh, now they're all tightened up. Like I said, I, I would highly recommend torquing. Um, the only reason I'm not gonna torque them is because I'm not gonna be using this on the street. All right, so now we actually got the spacer on. We're gonna uh, put the tire on now. And if you notice, I did actually redo the tire lettering on this one because it was kind of coming off. What happened was, is when I did the tire lettering on them, I didn't allow it to, uh, I didn't allow the tire to dry, like the actual paint in the lettering to dry long enough. Like I literally went out and eat I uh, ate with some friends that night and it flew up all over the side of the car and all that uh, So I had to get that off But yeah, so I'm gonna let this dry pretty much for the next two days and uh, hopefully it works out better this time So yeah, let's get a tire on the car now Sweet. So, uh, this is, this is kind of fucking crazy. This is poking. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the lugs on now. And I mean, I guess I'll leave the camera rolling. I mean, I don't know if you guys really want to see me put the lugs back on the door. So now we're gonna be moving on to the rear. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do now is just get the lugs off. Uh, I am gonna repaint these too, but I'm gonna save that for later on. Um, so yeah, so instead of like repainting this right now, I'm just gonna hurry up, get the tire off, put the spacer on, put it on so we can drop this side of the car and see what it looks like. So uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys whenever I have the wheel off. Okay guys, so for this one now, we have uh, we got the rear spacer. And um, so the front was a 20 millimeter, so this is a 25 millimeter, so it's a little bit thicker. Uh, so just put that on there like that. And for this one, <laughs> I only have three nuts. Uh, I couldn't find the rest of them, I don't know where they are. So, but like I said, I'm not putting this on the road. So, uh, it'll be all right for what we'll we're using it for right now. For the rear, like how the front, how I had to put a pair of pliers in the rotor, so it would, uh, there I go with uh again. No, but so I had to put a pair of pliers in the rotor, so that way it would butt up against the caliper and it wouldn't move. 
For the rear, you don't have to worry about that because the e-brake's gonna stop it from uh from rolling, from moving. So B should be good. So I get back to you guys. Remember the wheels are all tight, and I go to drop the car now. Catch you guys then. All right, guys. So uh, everything's tight now. I'm gonna lift up the car a little bit now. Uh, drop the jack out from underneath it, and then we'll drop it down. And then. Uh, We'll see how this shit looks. Uh, I'm gonna drop it now. So the car's on the ground now. I'll give you guys a little walk around. This is this is fucking crazy. Okay, so it's kind of raining. So uh, this is what the front looks like. I mean, that's where the fender cuts off. That's where the tire is, and the rear looks like that. Show it from the rear of the car. So that's what the rear is looking like. And this is what this side looks like. So this side is completely tucked in at the top. Like you can't see anything. This side, all you see is tire. 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 So this is this side from the fender. And this is this side. In the fender. So you can see a little bit of the front tire on this side. But this side is fucking crazy. Like this all right here is tire. That is like about two or three inches of this tire sticking out. Let's give you another shot of it real quick. So from the front and then from the front. That's crazy. You really see all the camber, but it's sticking out like that. That's fucking insane. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said before, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, rice or nice? Should I keep it like that? Should I run it like that? Or uh, should I take that shit off? Which I'm gonna take it off right now and put it back to the regular until I get some responses in the comments. Um, because I want to hit. I want to hear what you guys think. Um, but for now, to be safe, I'm gonna take it off and put it back to stock not stock but like without the spacers so uh, let me let me know in the comments uh, so yeah I'm not exactly sure as long this video is gonna be but to me it feels like it's gonna be pretty short so this is just a short little video for today uh, I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you did and I'll catch you guys in the next one